Joey Julius to kick it away. Joey Julius is a college football sensation. At nearly 260 pounds, the Penn State kicker's uncanny size and powerful hits make his fans go crazy. What his fans love most about him, his size, is what he's secretly hated. I was always calling myself fat, disgusting, lazy. A secret that he recently shared in a stunning Facebook post. I've decided to go public about my absence from the team. Depressed and anxious, Joey left the team this past spring and checked himself into a treatment center. It was there he discovered why he'd been struggling for the past 11 years. My name is Joey Julius and I have an eating disorder. Joey had binge eating disorder. It's when people lose control over their food intake, including eating large amounts of food at a time, even when not hungry and eating fast. It's often done alone. How do you respond to learning that you, a man, a collegiate division one football player, has an eating disorder? I just said, what's that? You had no idea what it was. No idea. There is a stereotype that eating disorders are quote unquote women's problems. I just think it's completely false. I mean, we all eat, you know. Do you think there are guys out there that are struggling with this, but they're too ashamed to come forward? Yeah, I would think so, because I was one of those guys. In the U.S. alone, 20 million women and 10 million men will suffer from a clinically significant eating disorder at some point. I think just the fact that being a college athlete kind of pushed me towards like that goal of kind of correcting what was wrong with me. For Joey, a typical episode would involve eating a salad in front of his teammates, but then hiding food in his backpack, going back to his room alone, ordering cheesesteak fries, Chinese food, and binging. I would have to lay down to the point where I was so sick I couldn't move and just, you know, lay there. And I, there were some times I would cry. Joey, has there ever been a moment where you thought this could kill you? Yeah, after I think I got the treatment, that's when I was like, you know what, if I would have continued down this path, you know, I might not be here right now.